Thanks very much for joining us at the SATNAC gathering, uh, where the issue of artificial intelligence has taken centre stage. But as we talk high level artificial intelligence, how does it actually come to the ground? What does it mean for you and I? Well, to discuss this further, I'm joined by Dr. Nzabi and Dr. Zabi Molapo. She's the head of research and innovation at Telcom. Thank you so much uh, for joining me, uh, Dr. Molapo. Now, the issue of AI, you know, it's you know, there's a lot of hype around it. We're talking AI, AI, but how are we going to translate this big concept to the ground? We know that we already use AI to a certain degree, those of us who have uh, social uh, media applications and so on and so forth, but practically, what do you foresee and hope? Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. What we hope for, um, especially for South Africa, for Africa, is that we can apply um, AI and all advanced technologies in ways that help advance society, that ways in ways that help to advance our business priorities, uh, that uh, transform industry. And what we are talking about at site next today, especially is how do we make it possible? Because we're seeing globally right now the potential for AI. We've seen here at the conference, for example, the hype of generative AI, etc. But for us, it's about how do we make it work? How do we develop solutions that work in education, in healthcare, for business, for, uh, for optimization, um, in technical, financial settings, etc. Lots of hows, uh, lots of questions that you're posing there, but you're the head of research and innovation. So what is it at Telcom, what kind of innovations are you guys coming up with to do that? Exactly. So there's two types of research we could do. Um, the first is foundational research, where we think about what's next with AI. But our teams don't necessarily do that right now. Our focus is on applied research to say these mature models for AI, these mature ways of implementing technologies, how do we then take those and apply them into business use cases, into societal uh, use cases. Um, there were presentations yesterday, for example, around um, optimizing, uh, for example, our energy usage uh, within our, our various uh, parts of our infrastructure. That's an application of AI. It's not AI on its own. It's AI applied in a specific area of business, and it can apply to other parts of industry and society as well. So you wear a number of hats. Uh, you're the head of research and innovation, as I've said, but you're also very involved at SATNAC. Um, you are involved in the Centers of Excellence uh, project, uh, which is really key, and you guys are celebrating 25 years of it. Um, this is really crucial in terms of skills development. Uh, and later on, you're going to be celebrating and awarding prizes to those students who've managed to come up with the best research papers in this area. What is it that you're going to be looking for as you award these uh, students uh, with their accolades? Sure. So our objective with SADNAC, our objective in research generally at, at Telcom is to try continuously to narrow the gap between industry and academia because the influence you get in both directions, um, it's, it, it, there's a high possibility, I mean, the impact we can have um, is significant, but it's very difficult to translate that benefit across. So the question is, how do we make industry influence academia and academia to also benefit um, from industry? And Sadnak does that well. Um, Sadnak is a platform, one of the few actually, that brings academia, industry and government together. But with the students especially, we want to introduce them to industry, show them what's possible in industry. Sadnak does that, but beyond it as well, our sponsors here, they give industry solutions challenges to students to say go and solve these problems that we see in industry. We have had students across the country, across the region actually, submitting their solutions and uh, four groups have won uh, uh, awards from ZTE, OpenServe, uh, Huawei um, and Amdocs, our diamond sponsors, and today we'll be awarding them um, the, the awards for their um, for their contributions to those challenges. Yes. Excellent. Dr. Zabi Mulapo, thank you so much for speaking with us. That was Dr. Zabi Mulapo. She's the head of research and innovation uh, at Telcom and also a very key instrumental member at SATNAC, uh, making sure that she uh, looks over the centers of excellence program, which is key to ensuring that skills keep on funneling through into the ICT sector.